Hello and welcome to this short video. On this video, I'm going to be talking about a Volkswagen antenna. This is our 2015 Volkswagen Passat. And there's a gasket that seals the antenna to the roof so that it doesn't leak and cause water to drip in on your headliner. So our car is only three years old and we found that the gasket that was on there was pretty much completely destroyed. And I'll show you a better picture of that. I'll go over and put it on something that you can see better. Anyway, um, we ended up replacing it. The Volkswagen procedure is to pull the battery cable loose, pull the ABC pillars, pull all of the items that attach the headliner to the roof, and then take the headliner out and take the nut off the antenna, take a, uh, two wires loose, and pull the antenna off and replace the gasket. Well, we got everything out from underneath the headliner, and the headliner didn't want to come off because in this case, on a 2015 Passat, sedan. The headliner is double stick taped or stuck on in the front and back and we knew we'd ruin the headliner to pull it out. So we put everything back together and we came up with an alternative solution I want to talk about. But as you can see the gasket fits perfectly and I'll show you how to do that in just a second. I'm going to describe the procedure we followed in order to put in the new ceiling gasket. First of all after we pulled the old one off what we did was we cleaned it with some good uh, spray cleaner like you use for car wax, but it's cleaning and detailer type material made for cars, so it won't damage the paint. We cleaned off underneath the antenna. And then we took a new gasket and we chopped out the two little center pieces so there's only the triangles. Then we took some of this grease that's um, Honda grease, but it's made by Shinetsu Polymer. It's made for seals, like your door seals. We put some of that just around the edges of the seal. And then what you do is from behind the antenna is you pop the front on. And once the front is popped on and into place, you can pop these triangles into from the sides and they should pop into place. And then the back part's kind of the hardest and you have to kind of wiggle it and move it around. You may have to move it like this a little bit to get it to go in and use a plastic pry tool but you should be able to get it to go on pretty easily. It took about five minutes and it fits real nice and snug. And then we took some spray wax and cleaned around it and waxed it with regular wax afterwards. So we're all set to go for another two or three years. So that's how easy it was. It's kind of a cheap and dirty way of doing it, but I think it far beats the recommended Volkswagen way. So thanks for watching and see you again soon.